This, my friends, is Black. A symphony of sounds, explosions, and fun. The objective of this game is to bring down the bad guys by destroying everything. Earning the title as my second favorite shooter on the PlayStation 2 is not easy, but Black has done it. Black reminds me of a combination of Killzone 1 and Time Splitter's Future Perfect. It feels a lot like Killzone, but it's as outrageous and as much fun as Time Splitter's. My favorite shooter ever. Black is a Molotov cocktail of bodacious bitchin' blasterama. It's like they started out trying to make a dark, gritty, mellow drama about special ops forces combating terrorism, and said, ah, the hell with this, let's just make a 1980s action film style explosion fest. I approve. Hey, the air is nice up here. An RPG? Those are fun in this game. Like the first kill zone, Black feels like it's pushing the PlayStation 2 to its limits. It's not a terribly fast and responsive game. In fact, as good as it is, Black leaves a lot of room for improvement. And seeing as how they left the game open for a sequel, this feels like a game that would be right at home with the newer PlayStation 3. And if they make a sequel, I hope they keep the same style. Because it's the outrageousness that makes Black fun. It's not a terribly dark and violent game, even though you're wasting hundreds and thousands of goons. They're like action film goons. You want to shoot them and see them fall off a catwalk and then explode. Looks like we've got some Geomod technology in here, like Red Faction. Yeah, those guys earlier didn't explode when they fell. But they did scream. I'm sure that it hurt. One rule of thumb in this game is that you do want to shoot everything that's red or possibly explosive, especially if there's goons standing next to it, because it just sends them flying all over the place. Oh, here we go. We've got a guy standing on a catwalk. I love the fact that no matter how you shoot guys, if they're standing on something, they always fall off. It also helps when they're shooting at you standing on top of something that's explosive. Or standing next to a truck filled with explosives. Black is a very short game, the levels are not terribly long. They give you some room to explore the levels and find documents and whatnot. But most of you who play a lot of shooters will breeze right through the game. Normal difficulty is easy. And even on the harder levels where they take away health packs, it's only a couple parts that are really challenging. The best part of Black is just seeing everything explode and hearing the shower of glass and seeing goons fly every which way. It's fun. There's no multiplayer, but this is one of the few shooters where I really want to play the game repeatedly just to see everything explode. If they make a sequel, I'd like to see the weapon upgrading system like Metal Gear Solid 4 or MAG has. That would fit this game perfectly, since it's really all about the guns and explosions. I like the lighting in the game, I think it looks nice. The level design, while short, is good. There's four different difficulty settings, you can unlock silver weapons. And even a special M16. While the Black Ops storyline is somewhat cliche, you're playing this game for the mass chaos and explosions. As you've probably noticed, it has health kits instead of regenerating health, which is far more realistic, of course. 
In a way, this game looks a bit like the popular Modern Warfare, but it's different. If you enjoy the more humorous, stylistic shooters like Red Faction and Time Splitters, Black will be right up your alley. And I really hope to see another one of these. And don't change too much. Put in laser guns and flamethrowers. Did you catch the Terminator reference at the beginning of the review? Good sense of humor in this one. Black. Easy to find and affordable today as well.